Katie, I am so thrilled to chat with you. Tell me about your sexuality. So my sexuality, I don't exactly like to put a label onto it, but if I had to, it's around the bisexual, pansexual area. Oh, beautiful. Yes. So that means you got love for everybody. Oh, yes. Love for all. So yes. you have never gone down on a woman before? No. Not yet. Is it an area that you're at all insecure about? I'm, I am afraid of looking inexperienced, but I'm hoping to gain more confidence so I can go in there and be like, okay, I know what I need to do and practice makes perfect. I love that because confidence yes. is a result of practice. Right. And also too, yes, you can practice in a live person, but you can also get the information, you know, really mm -hmm. run through it for yourself, understanding your own body as practice, right. and then go and apply it to another human being. And so that was the very first tip to giving someone mind blowing kind of lingus. Yes. You want to make sure that you take your time. Right. Now, in order for the clitoris to truly get as sensitive as it's going to be, the clitoral hood needs to peel back, the right. area needs to fill with blood, and all of this can take some time which is good for you, because <laughs> yes. you can take your time elsewhere. Now, erogenous zones are anywhere where there's a cluster of nerve endings. So for example, this is an erogenous zone, mostly where joints are connecting, but this, the genital area, is a hotbed of erogenous zones, oh. and not necessarily just the clit. Okay, so interesting, this, I actually did not know that. That's okay. very interesting. <laughs> so this is where you can use your entire mouth to tease, kiss, lick all over the body. When you start to get to the 10 minute or so mark, you can start to move downwards towards the genital region. And that's when using the entire area, the mons pubis, which is where hair grows. Yes. Massaging that area can be really nice as well too. And finally, when your partner is begging for it, <laughs> that's when you're going to go to the clit. The first thing you want to do is find out what kind of stimulation that your partner likes. Okay. And this is where communication can be incredible in the bedroom. Right, yes. So the four different areas that you can really ask about are direct stimulation, indirect stimulation, okay. sucking, or palming. Mm. So direct stimulation is all the attention on the hot button. There you go. So yeah. you're <laughs> actually going to be flicking the clit with your tongue directly. Okay. Indirect is orbiting around. That might right, be a circular, okay. you know, sort of wrap around, or it could be even wider and doing the entire vulva area. Mm, Some okay. people like sucking, which yeah. is where you put your lips around the clit and then you're just sucking it up. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there's something that's called palming. Some people call this hunching as well too. And this is just almost like a shifting of the entire area. Oh, okay. So somebody who likes to masturbate while humping something, they might prefer palming. So asking your partner how they masturbate might help to uncover some of these or being down there and being like, do you prefer this direct lick or that circling around lick? Yeah. Do you prefer this if I suck on it or that if I move it with my hand? Yeah, that's where the communication is Which key. one's hitting your <laughs> buttons right now? What one works best for you? Honestly, all the above sounds amazing. So, <laughs> I mean, I would appreciate all of it. <laughs> all right, so now we started slow. Yes. We figured out what kind of stimulation that they like. Yes. Now, how do we stimulate when we're down there? Whether it is direct, indirect, sucking, etc. There is a certain pattern people like. So can I see your palm a second? May I? Yes. All right. <laughs> so the different types of stimulation would be, now there is consistent. Consistent mm -hmm. means if they like this, that's all you're doing over and over again. I am consistent. When I say that feels good, I mean don't stop. Yeah, exactly. Don't get any crazy ideas. Yeah. This is exactly it. Some people like a rhythmic motion. And so rhythm would be just like up, around, down, tap. Up, around, down, tap. Whatever their rhythm is, you'd repeat that over and over again. Fun oh. fact, a lot of people's right side of their clit is more sensitive. Interesting. Now there's also surprise. Mm. And that? <laughs> <laughs> Anything goes. You're just basically playing, you're trying a whole bunch of different stuff, nothing is consistent. You're surprising the nerve endings, they don't know what's coming next. Right. But again, it depends on the person. Like I said, surprise wouldn't work for me, okay. but it might feel like amazing for someone else. Right. And the final tip is to get handsy. Mm. Your hands, they can do a lot of other really great stuff. Right. Number one, the clitoris is not just the button, it is shaped like a wishbone. It's an entire network right. of pleasurable nerve endings. And so okay. the clit actually runs down the entire length of the vulva. So your mm -hmm. hands can be cupping and massaging up and down with your thumbs as you're licking, so to get the legs of the clitoris. Oh, interesting. Your hands can also obviously be penetrating them. Yes. And working towards that G region area that's really sensitive. Yeah. Or put it in the booty. <laughs> you know, if they like that, <laughs> yep. and especially if you've warmed that area up, that might feel really great for that person. 
Also, too, spreading the labia apart gives you more stimulation for the clitoris. I've noticed that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've definitely noticed that. But yeah. somebody who has a very sensitive clitoris might find that's too much direct stimulation. Right. So I want to say as a final bonus technique, a way to be amazing at cunnilingus is to praise the pussy. Mm. Giving your partners lots of reinforcing compliments. You taste amazing. You look amazing. Right. I love the way that your body reacts to every touch. Yeah, You've got a beautiful vulva. Yeah. You would be surprised how few times people actually hear those direct compliments. That's so true, that's so true. I know I would love hearing that. I would love hearing yeah. that. Actually, my husband recently told me, like maybe two weeks ago, that he loves the taste. And I was like, why have you been oh. keeping this information yeah. from me? Like, it just really is something that feels really good to hear. Yeah. And actually helps that your partner receive and feel better about receiving oral, mm. because they know that you're loving every moment of it. That sounds great. Do you feel more confident after today to go forward and please a woman? So much more confident. I've learned so much more, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I hope that you make several people come over and over again. <laughs> I hope it's great for you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much for your curiosity. Well, thank you for teaching me. Oh, no problem. <laughs> and thank you for watching Sexology. We'll see you next time.